Good morning. Good to see everyone here this morning as we are this Sunday anticipating the future. Last week we were giving thanks for the past, this Sunday we're anticipating the future. And what a perfect day to have a baptism of a young person as we look to the future. It's wonderful to have Camille and Mark Cook here today as we baptize Oliver and big brother Theo here and your family members. We're glad that you are here and we're excited about especially having a baptism as we're looking to the future. So thank you for being here this morning. Please ask that you fill out the red cards, especially if you're a visitor. If you would give us your contact information, we would love to have that. We do have several prayer requests for our concerns. Uh, please hold Ruth Boyce and all of their family in your thoughts and prayers. Peter Boyce passed this past Wednesday evening. Ruth returned home yesterday, so we do want to hold Ruth and all of the family in prayers. There was a celebration for Peter's life in Atlanta. There will be a celebration for, Peter, for Peter's life here in Detroit sometime in the future. That will be announced. We also want to remember Dorothy Leeming and her family. The inurnment for their, her son Hugh was here on Tuesday morning, and it was good to meet her and to be with them and to uh, share with them in this special time, even though sad time. Prayers for Henry Reeves for his brother. His brother in Texas has had a series of strokes and has had a very serious stroke within the last 10 days. We want to remember Henry's family. Also, Theo Moran is beginning a very intensive training in combat survival and POW training, and I understand that's a difficult training, so the family asked prayers for, for Theo during this time. Of course, we want to remember our brothers and sisters in the Philippines. Henry does have a friend there and has learned that she and her family are fine, but we know many are not. So we pray for those for the tremendous loss, for families who have lost loved ones, and also for those who are now trying to rebuild their lives and trying to rebuild a very devastated place. So we pray for them and look for ways that we can help in these times. Please know that if you would like to know something more about Handel's Messiah before the concert in a couple of weeks, Josiah Tazelar will be in the chapel during coffee hour from 12.30 to 1.30, and he will have wonderful things to give you some background so that when you hear the concert, you will understand even more about it. So I invite you to come and spend some time with Josiah and learn more about Messiah. There also is a luncheon this afternoon with open door guests and the deacons and invite all of you to please come to the luncheon downstairs and would ask you to um, especially interact with some of the guests that come to be with us during the week that often you don't see many of them during on Sundays. Some wonderful people that we hope you may develop relationships with, so you are invited to that luncheon as well. Now let us prepare to worship our God. <laughs> 